Hi there, I'm Lisa Doyle with J Rockliffe Realtors and here we are January 2015 and what an amazing ride we've been on as far as real estate the last couple of years. So I wanted to give you a recap of last year, 2014, kind of tell you a little bit about what's going on in our market right now and at where it looks like we're headed because that is the million dollar question that we keep getting asked is what the heck's going on and where are we headed? So here we are as far as numbers in our East Bay, which we consider our East Bay the part of the market that we work most is the 680 to 580 corridors, part of the 24 clip but most of our business is in the middle of the 680 corridor so that's where I'm going to focus most of our numbers and the outlying areas are pretty consistent with what you're going to see in those middle area numbers so here we are um, again January as far as active and pending ratio what most people consider a part of the market you want to watch is the trends of active versus what's pending so again bottom of the market end of 2011 we hit the ground on the bottom and then we started our recovery in 2012 at that time we had 2400 and some odd listings active in our East Bay. Right now in January, we have 422 in that same exact area. So that shows you the difference in the supply and demand. Um, a year ago, the market was also very tight, low inventory, but we actually had more homes hit the market in 2013. At that time, there were 489. So what does that mean? Market trends are continuing to stay very tight. Pended inventory right now, a little bit less than last year, partly just because of there's no homes for buyers to choose from. Um, the pended market, there's 583 currently pending in that same area. So again, our pended inventory higher than our active, showing still that upward trend. Um, and this is a very interesting statistic. I heard on the, the media over this last week, home sales are down in the East Bay. Well, what they're not sharing with you is number of home sales are down. And so I wanted to give you a little trend because I want to make sure that all of you, when you hear this media online and on the news, that you understand what it means. In the last three years, as far as numbers of homes closed, um, has shrunk just because of available inventory. So for instance, 2012 in our East Bay, there were 8,787 homes closed escrow in that time period. 2013, 8,500. Last year, 2014, 7,700. So again, the number of home sales are shrinking, but the upward pressure on prices, they're rising. Okay, so here's where we went the last few years as far as our home values are concerned, because this is what everyone wants to know is, when should I sell my home and how much is it worth? So again, bottom of the market, 11. Prices have recovered. When we fell at the very lo lowest part of the market, our prices had dropped in most of our East Bay, 35% across the board. We have now recovered that entire 35% and some in most of our markets. Pleasanton right now is at or a little above the bottom of the market, so that means 35% recovery over the last few years. San Ramon above, and most of the reason why the demand on those two areas has been so high is the influx of buyers coming in from the South Bay. Those markets are closer for commutes. Danville, for instance, is one of the few markets in our area where we've not made it back up to the peak yet. We're still about 5% from where we were. So we've got a little bit of room to grow this year in 2014. 2015. Okay, so what does this mean as far as projections? We're anticipating a little bit slower rise in 15, you know, maybe that 3 to 5% rise. That's a national belief and I think an area statistic that you can watch that I believe will be the case. Um, the few things that we want to keep a very close eye on are interest rates, which we've been projecting interest rates rising for a few years now and we've not seen that. We are still at about 3.75 to 4% interest rates. So I've got a little bit of data to show you what it would look like if the interest rates are when they jump from say 3.75 to say 5%. In our average home uh, purchaser in this area, that would increase their payment over $800 a month more. So as far as being a seller, you know, when do you want to sell your home? Inventory at the very lowest, demand at the very highest, and interest rates low. So the time is very, very good for you as a seller. There's one other data that I want to share with you that we've seen as a trend the last few years. Okay, so we hit the, the market in January with a very hot demand, very low inventory, rising prices, which we have right now. Last year in 2014, our market rose between January and, say, May. July, August softened, and the market actually went down a bit. So as a seller, if you're you know, strategizing as far as when should you sell your home, I would recommend really look at January through April as the hottest, that's likely to be the hot market we see in 2015 as well. Again, we don't know for sure, no crystal balls, but based on historic, um, what we're seeing the last few years, that's what I would recommend. And if you have any personal questions about the market, your specific home, I'm happy to help you as far as timing and when would be a best, you know, the best time for you. My name again is Lisa Doyle.
Give me a call on my cell phone direct at 925-890-7443 and I'd be so excited to help you.